Animal Sacrifices Today by Boy Wilkes, 1971. Why do you not offer animal sacrifices today? This question is frequently asked because we teach that none of the laws of the Bible have been abolished or made void. This question is also asked because we observe the seven annual holy days which Yahweh has chosen as his festival days. We are asked, if you observe part of the law of Moses, why do you not observe all of it, including the sacrifice of animals and rites of worship? Though it is not generally known, it is really true that no portion of the law has passed away, been abolished, or has become void. Yahshua said that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Matthew 5, verse 17 and 19. He also says that if you and I expect to be great in the kingdom of Yahweh, we too must do and teach all the law, even the smallest points of the law. As long as heaven and earth stand, not one law of the Bible will become void. But it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one dot of the law to become void. Luke 16 verse 17 If possible, the New English Bible reads more emphatically. It is easier for heaven and earth to come to an end than for one dot or stroke of the law to lose its force. Since the law has not lost its force, this means that it is still to be observed. Planet earth is still here, so this is testimony that no law of the Bible has lost its force or become void. Paul, the great apostle of Yahshua, the Messiah, agrees with the Savior about the law. He wrote, Do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. Romans 3 verse 31, KJV. He also testified that the law is holy, just, good, and spiritual. Romans 7 verse 12 to 16. Now that Yahshua Messiah and Paul the Apostle have established the law and tell us it has never been abolished and will never be abolished as long as the earth stands, let us carefully examine the laws concerning animal sacrifices. Animal sacrifices were not to be offered at any place of their choosing, but only at the place where Yahweh placed his great name, Deuteronomy 16 verse 5. The law of Yahweh requires that all animal sacrifices were to be offered at the door of the tent of meeting, the tabernacle. We should also note that this law required the assistance of the priest and the Levites, Leviticus 17, verse 1 through 9. These public officials were to receive their portion of the offering and the sacrifices. Any person who would not comply with these laws was to be cut off from Israel. In view of these findings, we see neither Jew nor Gentile can properly offer animal sacrifices today because 1. Today the tabernacle or temple is not standing. It is not proper to offer animal sacrifices unless that which is offered can be brought to the door of the tent of meeting. Number 2. Since there is no temple, the Levites and the priests are not officiating, so it is improper to sacrifice unless these people receive their portion of that which is offered. Number three, on the penalty of death, it is unlawful except anyone but the Levites to offer sacrifices. Numbers three, verse eight, they shall guard all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and keep guard over the people of Israel as they minister at the tabernacle. Numbers 3 verse 10, And you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall guard their priesthood. But if any outsider comes near, he shall be put to death. Please share your thoughts below. What do you respond with when people ask you why you don't perform animal sacrifices today as a Torah observant believer? Thank you and Shalom.